Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Keeping You in the Know blog. Today is my second video and we will be talking about uh, healthy eating to boost your immune system. And some of these foods are uh, citrus fruits, which are, a lot of citrus fruits are high in vitamin C. Citrus fruits that are high in vitamin C are, are oranges, lemons, grapefruits, whole green apples, or Granny Smith. Uh, not sure uh, if uh, other countries uh, call it Granny Smith. But um, in the UK they call it Granny Smith also, but in the in uh, Asian countries, not sure what they call it. But um, uh, and there are other uh, gala apples also. Gala apples is good. Kiwi, strawberries, blueberries, pomegranates, and then I would like to include some exotic fruits like uh, dragon fruits, um, London. Those are uh, very good and, um, and they're full of antioxidant uh, and um, mangosteen and lanzones. My favorite fruit in the Philippines is lanzones and, uh, and they're good um, and I think it's rich in vitamin C also. I haven't uh, researched about lanzones but I'm sure it is rich in uh, vitamin C. Prickly pear. Prickly pear is considered a uh, superfood, and uh, I love uh, prickly pear. They're sweet. There were there are two kinds of prickly pear. Um, there's a green one, and there is a purple one. The purple one is I like the best because it is very sweet, and uh, I never thought that a cactus will have some fruits, but they do bear fruits, and they are called a uh, prickly pear. Um, here in the in California, so I don't know how uh, other countries would call it, but you know, prickly pear they grow in other countries too, and I know they grow in the Philippines, uh, and I'm sure they grow in Indonesia, uh, maybe Malaysia, and uh, India, uh, Mexico. We'll never know, but you know, they are easy. They are easy to grow. If you have access to, to some of these fruits, uh, please eat them and enjoy them because uh, they have a lot of uh, uh, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and definitely, definitely uh, will protect you uh, or will increase your uh, immune system and will protect you from any uh, illness, um, which is very important, especially uh, those countries that uh, where people have not had any uh, vaccine or have not been vaccinated we need to protect ourselves I also like to would like to mention about the fruits uh, that are rich in vitamin A there's so many of them and some of them are so inexpensive to buy when they are in season so number one is uh, mango uh, mango is very very good uh, it's rich in vitamin A, uh, cantaloupe, uh, pink grape, uh, pink or red grapefruit, watermelon, papaya, apricot, tangerine, and nectarine. So those are just some of the fruits that are rich in vitamin A. So if you if they're in season, buy them and uh, make them uh, part of your diet. It will help you a lot boost your immune system. Fruits that have red peel or um, if uh, the meat inside is naturally red or pink, um, that means the fruit is uh, rich in lycopene. Uh, lycopene is very important. And um, it, lycopene is a naturally occurring chemical that gives uh, fruits and vegetables a red color. Lycopene in fruits and vegetables can prevent atherosclerosis. Um, atherosclerosis or plaques that, uh, build up in your uh, arteries and so you need to be you know make sure that you're preventing uh, that to happen and uh, so that's you know related to cardiovascular disease um, also it's good uh, like when it's good for uh, prostate cancer hum HPV which is uh, human papillomavirus 
infection, uh, cataracts. Can you believe it? Uh, will help your cataract if you have a cataract. Uh, lycopene is good for cataract, asthma. Um, and as I said, it is rich in antioxidant and as an anti-inflammatory or anti-inflammatory, I'm sorry. Antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. I like to especially mention uh, lemons. Um, I always listen to Dr. Mandel who talks about uh, lemon being a miraculous uh, fruit. Uh, lemon has pectin and pectin is the fiber inside of the lemon and it lowers blood uh, sugar um, in your blood. If you have um, diabetes that will help you um, a lot and it prevents um, uh, your sugar from uh, being uh, high and um, also it prevents the formation of kidney stones uh, it brings uric acid down detoxifies your body if you drink it in the morning gives you alkaline um, and addresses the acidic issues caused by a specific, uh, specific food you eat so lemon is really really good for you I drink that every morning um, when I drink it, um, I drink it with uh, turmeric. So I, I would use like uh, one third of it. I cut it in three. Uh, I cut it in three pieces, uh, three pieces, and I squeeze it in uh, my uh, coffee cup um, with uh, uh, turmeric juice and uh, and lemon, squeeze of lemon and honey, and that is very very good in the morning for you. That's you know, if that's what you drink uh, first thing before you eat breakfast, before you drink uh, coffee or tea, um, uh, drink that first lemon uh, with honey and uh, warm water. Um, vegetables. Most vegetables have powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Making them part of your diet will certainly boost your immune system. Uh, broccoli is one, cabbage, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. Uh, this, all these uh, four, which is cabbage, uh, broccoli, kale, uh, cauliflower, or Brussels sprouts, they are all in the same family and they are called cruci cruciferous uh, vegetables. Uh, you know how how uh, chop suey is so popular in almost uh, I think any country. Uh, Chinese food is very popular anywhere because you know Chinese are everywhere. I would say uh, you know they're in England also, and there are lots of uh, restaurants, Chinese restaurants in England now. And uh, you know you can make uh, broccoli, uh, you can make chop suey out of broccoli, cabbage, kale, and not, I'm sorry, not kale, cauliflower, and uh, you know you say sauté them in uh, garlic, and it's very very good. Uh, chop suey is uh, one of my favorite uh, sautéed vegetables. Uh, Brussels sprouts is one of our favorite. Uh, we'd love to eat it with um, us filet mignon, filet mignon steak, but we don't eat it uh, uh, a lot. But just maybe once a month or twice a month and uh, it goes along well with Brussels sprouts and um, baked potatoes or mashed potatoes or grilled uh, potatoes uh, whatever you like but um, just don't eat uh, steak um, too often because it's, an, it's high in fat and uh, it can increase your cholesterol and also can uh, cause um, Atherosclerosis if you eat it every day. So I don't know anybody that eats um, filet mignon steak every day. So if you eat it, do eat it moderately. Other vegetables that are good to eat are um, bell pepper, spinach, uh, daikon, carrots, yellow squash, 
squash, garlic, uh, you know, you mix it with garlic. If you cook, you know, some of the food, uh, you put a lot of gar garlic um, or sometimes ginger and uh, carrots and yellow squash is good for your eyes. Um, it improves uh, eyesight or uh, if you have, uh, if you think that your eyesight is not uh, good anymore, then it will prevent the carrots and yellow squash, even the green vegetables will prevent uh, your eyesight from uh, getting worse. Uh, so if you are having poor eyesight, it will maintain your eyesight and will, you know, will try, will uh, not uh, go worse, hopefully. If you love garlic, uh, always, you know, uh, include it in your cooking because garlic is very, very good. It is, uh, it, I consider it a superfood because it is uh, a very, uh, it has a very strong uh, anti-inflammatory uh, properties and uh, it will better your blood pressure. Um, it will control your blood pressure, uh, reduce your cholesterol. It will reduce your cholesterol and bad cholesterol, I would say, reduce the risk for cardio cardiovascular disease. So garlic, always include that in your cooking. Okay, uh, the next one is ginger. Ginger is another kind of vegetable that is very, very high um, or very strong in anti-inflammatory and also antioxidant uh, properties. If you take it every day, it will do wonders to your body. It uh, fights seasonal, in seasonal infection, you know, like uh, res respiratory, uh, upper respiratory infections, sore throat, you know, all, all that. Uh, kinds of uh, uh, infection uh, and it, that happens uh, usually during winter or cold season in some countries and that's especially in the United States. Uh, ginger lowers your um, LDL, the bad cholesterol, and also it's good for joint chronic uh, problems, osteoarthritis and degenerative disease. Black cumin powder. I have some of you uh, incorporate black cumin powder in your cooking. I love using uh, black cumin powder and also um, uh, ground pepper, uh, black ground pepper when I'm cooking breakfast. Uh, I put it, I sprinkle black cumin powder on my eggs, you know, and uh, also um, mushrooms when I cook mushrooms. Um, I sprinkle a lot of black cumin and uh, uh, ground pepper. They are, you know, they make your uh, eggs and um, and mushrooms delicious. So include them because uh, it lowers your blood sugar levels. Also, it neutralizes toxins in your body. It prevents cancer uh, and increases your memory and concentration or focus. Okay, that is very important. So those are the fruits and vegetables that I mentioned today that you can incorporate uh, incorporate in your diet. So that way uh, you boost your immune system and uh, you have some kind of protection. Uh, if you, you know, for example, I hope you don't, but uh, if you uh, get yourself infected with any virus, uh, not only COVID-19, but any virus, you'll be able to um, recover from it uh, without any problems because you don't have the other uh, problems that is hampering your recovery. You know, like if you have diabetes, you have cancer, you have um, high blood pressure or cardiovascular, your arteries are clogged, you know, with uh, uh, you have plaques in your arteries, uh, those are conditions that will hamper your recovery from the virus if you are infected. Thank you for watching uh, today and I hope you gained some useful information. If you have any question or uh, would like to know this specific information, just comment down below 
and I will respond to you as soon as possible or will discuss it in my next video. Hit like and subscribe button so that you don't uh, miss my next video and also don't forget to visit my website uh, www.livelifewell.com I'm running out of uh, juice um, batteries so I, I'm kind of rushing and, um, and uh, yes please do not forget to visit my uh, website livelifewellall.com for uh, more information on healthy eating or keeping yourself healthy and um, again I'd like to thank you for watching today uh, stay healthy be well and be safe thank you